Revelations chapter 13 verse 15 And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast That the image of the beast should both speak And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed And he caused of all both small and great Rich and poor free and bond To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads And that no man might buy or sell Save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six. Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai. Call Halal Lai, Yahweh Bashimi Hawa Shai, that's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. When Elias Brodberger goes to work, he doesn't need ID. And he doesn't need money. In fact, much of what he needs to get through the day is hidden right there, just below the surface, in his hand. Do you like to touch it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, weird. Yeah, it's like a grain of rice. Yeah, a grain of rice. Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. Yeah, it's all in the chip, so I use it like to get around the building. Buy snacks. Yeah, exactly. Let's buy some snacks. Exactly. So I can't open it. No. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to first blip my chip. I need to log me in. Mm -hmm. And from there, I get access to the fridge. Popular TV shows like Black Mirror have imagined chips as part of a dystopian future. Install ingrained procedure with local anesthetic and you're good to go. In Sweden, the microchips are already here. The microchip implants use the same technology that's in contactless credit cards. Which have made cash pretty much obsolete in Sweden. No cash. At this tech fair, a chipping event for those on the cutting edge, merging their hands with this new technology. I thought it would be fun, right? The process is simple and swift. A pinch of the skin, and in a matter of seconds, the chip is inserted. The transformation is complete. As for the pain... I barely felt it. But even in this nation of early adopters, not everyone is racing to get chipped. I feel less human. I will feel like a robot. I think, I mean, it's so much more data can go into this, you know, when it's in your body. There's no central registry tracking how many people are chipped. But biohacker Hannes Wellblood estimates between five and 10,000. In the future, do you think everyone is going to be chipped? I think it will be voluntary, but I am certainly convinced that millions of people will find it very, very valuable to have a smart device under their skin. Human microchipping may be our future, but in Sweden, it's already reality. Sarah Harmon, NBC News, Stockholm. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking. All right, there it is. All right, you saw it. Okay, this, this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, is becoming more evident that this chip is the mark of the beast. Okay, you know, now this is going on in Sweden. You know, they said a while back that Sweden was, I believe, 90% um, 90 cashless society. Well, probably now it's more 95% because a lot of these Swedens, okay, have gone taken the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. And as you see in this video, you see a lot because it proves, you know, the the future, the, the, the mindset of these elites, okay, the house of Esau, you know, that goes by the name of the Rothschilds, the 1% international bankers, Illuminati, okay, those that rule the world in wickedness today, all right, their plan is that everyone will be microchipped. But guess what? It's taking place in Sweden. It's also taking place in China. And it's also taking place in East India. So Babylon, which is North America, Mystery Babylon the Great, all right, um, spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, this place is also, okay, they, they, will, they want 
everyone to be microchipped. Let me say the whole world. All right. But as I read the scripture, Revelations 13 and 15, you know, I'm not going to go into breaking it all down. We should know already the image is the system. OK, um, you know, it says he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or their forehead. All right. Which is the mark. The word is in the Greek uh, karagma. OK, karagma, which means something branded uh, and pricked it. You know, something incision up under the skin. OK, and that's that chip. Now it says that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the no, excuse me, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him to have understanding count the number of the beast. So you supposed to have understanding of these times. And if you don't, then guess what? You're missile fool. All of these people, these Edomites that's in this um video here are all missile food. And if they're not missile food, they're going into captivity, man. They're going to be destroyed. All right. Now, they make it cool. They make it sound, you know, so neat. It's the new way of things. But they're not telling you the things what's wrong with it. All right. This is easily for um, it makes it easier for criminals who like to steal identity even even uh, faster. OK, it makes it way more easier because this chip is game changer. All right. It's a new form of identity. It's a GPS tracker. All right. And it's a new way on on how to buy and sell, let alone there's other chips that's implanted in certain people who have a handicap or things like that. It's a miracle. It's a miracle chip. OK. This chip is a game changer, man. It, it, hij it hijacks your brain waves, and any Edomite, you know, that have any type of uh, what you call it, um, frequency device, you know, he can tamper with your chip. All right, and even if this chip uh, breaks inside of the skin, you know, they say within the the chip there's a chemical called cyanide. It leaks into your bloodstream and you die instantly. All right. So anyway, you know, I don't want to say too much. All right. Just wanted to play this video, put some commentating on it, read some scriptures, because it's just more evident. If you out there and you believe that the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast, well, you're a fool. All right. And we're going to see. We're going to see. As Ezekiel said, then you will know there were prophets among you. All right. And it's. 144,000 prophets and I'm going to say right now starting with our elders and apostles of Great Millstone because truly with that banner of Great Millstone through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, the men of the Lord are teaching 100% truth okay the 100% of prophecy it's evident you know it's no debate anymore it's evident you know so you know with that that's all I got but before I go that I must read, I must, before I go, I must read the judgment. This is Revelation chapter 14 and 8. It says, And there followed an another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his right in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of, of the most high, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Alright. So that's the judgment, man. This is Revelation 15 and 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues. And shows you that this chip, this mark of the beast is one of the last uh, uh, plagues, man. It's one of the last prophecies that's going to take place before the day that the Lord returned, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. His name is Yahweh Shai. 
these is going this prophecy is going to take place all right and especially here in babylon north america and it's going to be forced upon you because not everyone is willing all right right now you have these certain areas and it's like sweden okay and even there you had people saying they didn't want to become you know like a robot so there's going to be some type of rebellion you know east you know until esau force it he's going to have to have another way another option on how to pay and how to buy and sell all right but eventually you know going into this third world war that's that's approaching you know martial law hey these things are going to be forced upon you to take that chip so it says and i saw another sign in heaven great and marvelous seven angels having the seven last plagues for in them is filled up with the wrath of the most high and i saw as it was a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victory over the beast over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the harp of the most high and they sung the song of moses the servant of the most high yahweh and the song of the lamb yahweh shai saying great and marvelous are thy works lord god almighty just and true are thy ways thou king of saints all right so you know that's that's it man you know nbc news this is our regular fluff news that comes on and here it is man credit card chips insert into hands you know there's a company also you can look up that inserted uh you know the employees with these chips and i believe this might be that company because i believe that company was in sweden if i'm not mistaken they had a chip party all right they talk about the black mirror this is something more modernized as the twilight zone <laughs> if y'all know about that <laughs> back in the 90s you know the twilight zone the black mirror you know is on point and and this is why we also as men of the lord you know men of yahweh bashim i was shy uh we we also uh talk about these movies and tv shows because these TV shows are actually showing you the reality of things. It used to be, you know, TV shows were, you know, oh, don't believe it. That's just TV. That's fake. No. What they're playing for, for this futuristic type of fantasy of Esau and his mind of how the world is going to be. Microchip, transhumans. All right. Merging into with robots. Biometric system, facial recognition. These were all played out in movies. Now these movies are what become reality. All right. You have to understand it. We're at the end. This is the end. Okay. The end of Esau. Let me uh see what else. Point out. You see. Scanning the chip. Smart pay. Now here it is. There was a video I had before they took down my last page couldn't find that video again but it was i believe it was in europe it was a chip uh facility that showed all the neat features of the microchip and the plans of the future which they want to do and i can't find that video i had it for so long but i don't know maybe the lord allowed me to put that back up if i could find it but hey look you got an israelite all right an israelite woman there it is the black woman you know front and senate all right and I wouldn't be surprised she chipped. I don't know what that is. In the 3D. But yay, hey, man. <laughs> hey, Jake, you gonna take this chip. Alright. You gonna take this chip too. So a lot of you gonna take it willingly, just like these Edomites. Because you think it's cool. You think it's, you know, your way of being accepted, you know, amongst Esau because you have his technology in you. You know, you can do what he do. You know? But guess what? I read the judgment. Well, go get you niggas, man. You know? Shit ain't no joke. You dudes out there playing games. This shit is not no joke, man. It's not no joke. See? Chipping in the hand. Before talks, going back years ago, people would say, oh, I heard that before. They'd never do that. <laughs> they doing it. It's 2019. We had it in 2020. And they microchipping and sweeten, man. Heavy. 
I just can't wait till the Lord allow this devil to push it harder more here in America, man, to make these people uh, see it even more. All right. But it don't matter because the Lord is going to deliver the elect. Uh, I must get Revelations 3 and 10 before I go. I'm just, just skimming through these, uh, through the video. See, there it is. Smart pay. See how your phones are linked up to your chip. You can have uh, your phone features, you know, easy access, you know, security behind this chip. I'm pretty sure they're going to start putting it in the new video games and every other neat, so-called neat feature of these tech, of the, of the high techs, gadgets and shit. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, that's it, man. I'm going to read this scripture and I'm going. All right. This is. um. All right, this is Revelation chapter three, verse 10. All right. It says, because thou has kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Now, that hour of temptation is the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. The hour of temptation is the time. When you're going to be forced to take this RFID microchip, okay? The mark of the beast. It says, which shall come upon all the world. So guess what? The RFID microchip is being willingly taken. The mark of the beast is being willingly taken outside of America. It's happening around all the world right now, okay? It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. That's why when you go back to Revelations 13 and 16, he says he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his right hand or his forehead. All right, that's everybody. Everyone is going to be tried. Okay? So it says to try them that dwell upon the earth. Verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And that crown represents your salvation. So for the brothers that are woke in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, constantly teaching and pushing the word, all right, we supposed to hold thy crown. We supposed to hold our garments, man. You know, remain unspotted, okay? Continuing to um, strive for right, uh, strive, strive to be. Uh, uh, so I get continuing to strive in righteousness, man. Okay. It says, behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast. Which thou has. What is that? The truth, the word, the gospel, because we got it. We got it. All we got to do is hold on to it. That no man take thou crown, because what are the crowns that's going to be given to the elect? That's in the Apocrypha. All right. When Edges had the vision. And he saw one standing taller than the rest. And he was placing crowns upon their heads. All right. <laughs> because they're going to be the crowns given to the men of the Lord. The prince. The princes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Yasha Allah. He prince power. Okay. The prince of the power. <laughs> the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. That's why um, for, for you women. You know, you're supposed to remain humble and stay in your lot because this, the Lord is truly dealing with his men. You know, the scriptures say in Revelations 21 and 3, the tabernacle of the Lord is with men. All right. Even Yasha Allah lets it be known that the Lord is with the sons. Okay. That's who he deals with. It says, behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh. Will I make a pillar in the temple of my God and he and he shall go no more out and I will write upon him the name of my God, the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power, Yahweh, I will write upon him my new name. He that have ears to hear, let him hear what the spirit say unto the churches. <laughs> All right. So, you know, that's it, man. I hope the hopeful elect who watched this video were edified. If you don't know, the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. All right. And if you take that chip, 
Lord gonna tax that ass. You know, and this is this is serious, you know. This is serious because your life is on the line. So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Shai, Bashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole for elect. Shalom.